Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of KikaCraft Advanced. I'm Tigorso, here with Garen, and today, well, we're just going to show you what we're doing, <laughs> because yesterday we spent a ton of time uh, getting to know the mods, testing things out, trying things out, and seeing what was going on. So, we've got a lot of stuff going on around here. Um... So we've got these things, these industrial craft twos. Um, this is a macerator and an extractor. These have, we've been trying to use to get some other things uh, that we need, um, like rubber, things like that. We've been playing with batteries. We've got batteries going. Um, there's these forestry machines that Garen was using to make uh, like a, it's like a, what is it? Beehive thing? Apiary. Yeah, that's the word I'm looking for. Um, that's our furnace. It's going to glide on over here. Uh, so, uh, we also have some new tools to help us get around. We've got a hang glider. Um, because with everything being so so tall and everything, it's hard to get around. This is our bee. It's a meadow princess. It's got some frames and everything. So, bears love bees. Uh, the B mod is basically what originally attracted Garen to modded Minecraft. So uh, we tried it out a long, long time ago. He originally found like a village, or we tried a world, and he just found a village, and he was like, "Oh, I'm gonna play with bees," and then he loved it. So um, this is a cool little thing that we've got going on now. This is a autonomous activator uh, for our big old smelt tree thing here. Love this thing, by the way. Um, but I was like, I was like, you know, I can use the, the, um, who's Mahizi, the, the funnel, the hell are those things called? Anyways, I can use one of these to pull it out of here and put it into here in the chest, the words. Um, but I was like, he had to click on this every single time he wanted to use it. And then it would take it out automatically and then, uh, put it out over there. Um, but Garen made us the, uh, uh, basically the clicker thing, and when you turn this on, it automatically pours it, and then the, uh, it gets automatically taken out by the thing. I can't remember what it's called. Uh, hopper. That's the word I was looking for. Um, so we've also got some mariculture stuff going on. Bears also love fish. Love fish. So we got some of that. Um, this is a Pam's Harvest apiary. You're probably gonna stick with the uh, the other one. What was it? The forestry, I think. Forestry mod. Um, Garen has begun the magical research. Yes, quiet cows. So he's starting the thong craft, and we're gonna do that one together. And there's also some some things over here because we need power. Uh, we have this uh, CESU. It's uh, powered by water mills. So it actually will gather up all of our energy and just sort of generates for us here. It's really slow, but it's actually been working for us uh, really, really well. Um, we've managed we've managed to actually, you know, get some things done with it. And it's easy and, you know, it works. <laughs> yeah, no pipes required. Um, we built ourselves a nether portal. We haven't really gone in too much. We went in for like two things of glowstone and that was it. And the reason why we went in there for the glowstone was because we needed some for this, an electric jetpack. So now it's easy to go up and down these gigantic hills that we've got and uh, travel quickly and easily to like lower areas like that and get back up without having to like climb up or um let me show you guys one of the uh one of the times where we actually tried to <laughs> see that that dirt bridge right there yeah that was us trying to get back to uh get back to where we were after we originally went and saw the uh the sacred grove so um so yeah there's that and then uh i also have been really excited about um the Archimedes ships. 
So I actually built this. It's a it's a little just a little skiff, just a little boat. Um, I tried to make it look cool with like some wood and you know make it look like an airship. Um, originally it had wings, but I had to I had to remove the wings to make it lighter. Um, and I also tried recently adding in some more balloons just to make it faster. It's a little big, but it's just a basically it's just a cargo ship for right now. We've got some metal, I think these are iron, yeah, iron chests back here so that we can quickly and easily um, get our stuff down to uh, the area where we're going to be. And actually, that's what uh, I'm going to work on today. Uh, Bear, do you want to come with? Okay, all right. So we are actually going to head on down over to our area and check out our landing spot. Let's go ahead and assemble the ship. Let's mount it. Switch into F5. Oops, there we go. And uh, there we go. Bear's in his seat. So let's go. All right. So we showed you guys last time the um, the sacred grove where we want to be building. Um, we need to sort of make a. Oh, the video is probably lagging so bad right now. Uh, sorry about that. Apparently my computer cannot handle this and record at the same time. Hopefully as soon as I'm done, the frame rate will stop misbehaving. Um, yeah, we need to really, we need to really work and, and figure out what, how we're going to get some better performance out of this. Um, but either way, this, uh, little area here in the center is where, um, we're going to, keep our uh our sort of stuff for right now temporarily and i was really uh attracted to this originally because it's sort of like got a dock built in and ready to go all right so let's do, 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 do. there we go and still terrible frame rate all right hold on one second let's see if we can fix this okay guys we're back so we had a little bit of tro trouble with our recording drive right there. Um, but everything seems to be back in order now. Um, troublems. Um, so yeah, we're back to a good, decent uh, recording speed. Um, I've just been having problems recently with uh, my recording frame rates dropping just for no reason. Um, but we switched to an internal drive, and that seems to have uh, fixed the problem. Because originally it was on an external drive, but I don't know. It's apparently been having problems with modded. It's always been fine for for you know Kikacraft and Affinity and all that stuff, but apparently modded. I don't know. It might be because I'm running the server on my computer. So it's taxing my system more than it normally would. And we're running mods and all of that stuff as well. So I don't know. We're just going to have to, you know, figure out what we're going to do. And, and uh, hopefully, you know, recording to this internal drive will be fine. Because um, this is the one I used to, uh, this is the one I used to record on. Then I just started uh, doing it on the... Uh, on the external because it was easier to move between uh, mine and G's computer, but you know whatever, it's it's all right. We can just transfer it over. It's going to take a little bit extra time, but but it's all right. Um, but I really love. Oh, that's right. I, can, I don't have to remove these all at once. There we go. Just remove the center block and oh, there's another one over here, and everything will all disappear. Um. So yeah, so I found this uh, little tiny uh, space here in the center, and I was like, oh, this is perfect. It looks just like a, uh, a docking uh, station uh, for our little skiff. And uh, I figure that, you know, we're going to need space down here to build in the trees. Because one of the things about the trees is that they're so large, they kind of, <laughs> they generate in a way that is, 
not normal to Minecraft. So the second you update the tops of the trees, they just, the leaves start decaying like crazy. Um, we actually loaded up the same seed in like a test world because I had read that and I wanted to see what had happened. My computer started crying um, because it was literally updating like hundreds and sometimes thousands of blocks at a given time. So um, I'm glad that when we originally were checking it out, I didn't actually go to the roof because I would have messed everything up. And uh, it would have been, it would have been bad. So here we go. Just clearing off these trees right here, and we're gonna build ourselves a little station. Just a little, little tiny docking station. Um, I definitely want it to be. Uh, I don't want it to stick out very much like it does right now. So this thing is going down all the way what is this algae interesting all right let's go ahead and remove this but i'm having i'm having a lot of fun um it was actually kind of weird yesterday because um me and garen don't normally play minecraft just like to play unless we're gonna record something um so we actually played for, oh gosh, what, like five-ish hours yesterday? Just messing around, having fun, learning how to play, all that stuff. And it was, it was kind of insane. I cannot remember the last time that we did that. So this so far has been... A really really good situation for us um, and with like all of the uh, all of the things and the mods and the, and the goings-on it's 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 really fun we're having we're having just a fantastic great time I absolutely love everything that's happening um, you know, because it's kind of like, it, we'd always treated Minecraft as like, or at least I have always treated Minecraft as like an imagination game. Like, oh, you know, we're gonna, we're gonna, you know, pretend that, you know, it's a, it's an X or it's a Y or, you know, something, something or other. And, uh, let's see, I, I did bring some crafting benches, put them down here. Um... Let's see. No, I want to do jungle. There we go. Perfect. Um, I, I'd always sort of been like like imagining, you know, different things for my builds and and all sorts of stuff. So to see like that we can actually like mobilize um, blocks now with the ships is sort of fun because. Um, it's one of the things I always wished that I could have done with the, uh, the airship that we did, uh, in our Kegercraft world. I, I really, really wanted it to be able to fly, and we didn't even really have, uh, oh, hey zombie, what's up? We didn't even really have, like, a like a whole lot of stuff uh right away but i was like you know what i totally absolutely want to build a ship like right now like that's what i want to do and i did it and it was so much fun it was just like grabbing blocks testing stuff out seeing what happened i mean originally it was just sort of like this giant you know, wood abomination, and it, it, it was so funny because uh, the first time I took it out to, to fly, it was, uh, it was way, 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 way too heavy. Um, so it sort of sank, and because it sank, um, it got stuck on the ground, and I couldn't park it. <laughs> so Giran had to come save me 
because my poor little ship was uh, was completely stuck and I couldn't go anywhere. Um, and so he he helped me out, and uh, it, it it eventually worked out. Oh, this is this is a cinnamon tree. I don't want to break this down because I don't know I don't know anything about it. Um, and I was I was able to get out because I, I had made the mistake of trying to get out of the uh, uh, get out get out of the ship before I had like unmounted it. Um, so it was still like an entity, and I was stuck on it. I couldn't move at all. And uh, so Gear had to come save me. He was able to you know position me because he could see what was you know my ship was getting stuck on, and I couldn't. So uh, we eventually got it worked out, but. Um, when I remounted my ship to move it back to the dock, <laughs> I picked up like, like flowers and grass and all of this like weird, odd little things that were stuck to the bottom of my ship. So I, I couldn't see them. So as I was heading back, I was trying to park and it was like my ship kept getting stuck and I was like, what the heck? You know, I should be I should be fine. And then once I actually parked and got back, I realized I was like, oh, oh. <laughs> I had like, like just tons of grass and flowers and all kinds of weird junk on the bottom of my ship. It was it was hilarious. Um, so you know, it's like, it, it, but it's you know, like we're new, so. You know, figuring this stuff out is is kind of the the fun of it. Um, oh, hey, an apple, yay! Uh, so I've I've been having just a, a grand old time, and uh, Garen built his first ship, so that is really cool. It's that little yellow thing in the in the uh, in the beginning of the video. Oh no, where is it? There he is. That's the Nimbus. It's it's a, it's like. Uh, the little cloud from uh, Dragon Ball Z is a little yellow cloud. It's the cutest thing ever. Dragon Ball, sorry, my bad, Dragon Ball. Um, so yeah, that's that's how Gearing gets around. It's the cutest thing, and it works like really well. It's just a, just a couple of air balloons, in the <laughs> yeah, yeah. I I should have said should have said that, but. I always, I always have a problem like this because like Dragon Ball is like just like all of the series are just Dragon Ball Z to me. Um, oh, okay. Well, this is dropping cinnamon, but I don't need this tree here. And there's another cinnamon tree in the zone, so I'm not gonna cry if like removing this is a mistake because I know, I know for a fact that there's another tree off, off that away. So. Um, Oh shoot, it's getting dark. As soon as this breaks, I'm gonna sleep. Alright, there we go. Sleep. And Garen's moving to his spot. So it's been it's been really fun. We've been exploring and everything like that. Um one of the things I've noticed is that um getting uh, materials is uh, a lot harder. I'm not quite sure if Diamonds have become rare, but uh, yeah, we're having a really, really hard time finding diamonds. So I'm not entirely sure what that is all about. Um, I don't know if it changed or anything, but that's been our our biggest challenge. Because as you can see, I've got like 45 levels right now. And that is because uh, um, I don't have an enchanting table because we don't have obsidian to to get. So it's it's kind of a difficult uh, situation that we're in. Um, let's see. I actually think that I want to dig this out. Go to make room for myself. There we go. I'm going to replace this with wood so that way it looks good it'll be dirt on the inside but that's all right that's how the outside look that counts this is just going to be sort of like a temporary uh like staging area eventually this is going to be like um this is probably going to be like a place to dock like a like a ship or a boat or something like that 
um, not necessarily airship docking, but because of the situation that we're in right now, um, this is going to be, there we go. This is going to be uh, the perfect sort of solution uh, to uh, our little moving problem. Because the whole point of, of us doing this is so that we can start moving, uh, we can start moving our materials and our machines and everything that we've got right now um, over to this area because this is where we're gonna this is where we're gonna be you know building our first real base so we need to get a bunch of stuff going we need mines we need um, you know housing space living space all of that we need to get that stuff set up and going um, before we can... Yeah, storage is a huge problem right now. We just don't have uh, a lot of places. In, everything is very hodgepodge, first day chests everywhere sort of uh, sort of thing. So we need, more, we need more permanent storage space. And that's what we're going for right now. Um, I made the iron chests and they were expensive for right now um let's see here can i no i don't want to cut this off i wonder if i can make like little yeah the ships are surprisingly inexpensive i'm sure it gets more expensive if you want to build like a larger ship like this right here this uh, was what added on in order to make the ship a little faster because I had just the bare minimum and I put this second row on here to give it sort of like a like an icebreaker look I guess um, which I thought was pretty cool but um yeah we just kind of need to work things out but you know this dock actually looks pretty good I want to change this one I want to make I want to give this a uh, a dock type look as well um, just because I want the two to match and then we can start working on aesthetics and things like that um, as we go on uh, let's see here this is a secondary area so let's uh, let me go ahead and get my jetpack on so that I can Whoop. There we go. So that I can get some like sticks and stuff. I would need to make. Um, let's make two stone shovels because they will probably break in the amount of time that we're going to be doing this. So I think I'm going to level off this top area here just to give us a little more space. And then I'm probably going to remove one or two of the outward blocks uh, on this edge over here just so that we can have oh actually yeah let's go ahead and remove this just so that we can have sort of like an even even level environment but this also is going to give us more room here to build and dock larger ships if we so desire which I most certainly do desire um, woo! There we go. Alright, so let's start with slabs. Actually, I'm just going to go ahead and make another uh, crafting bench over here. Because I know I'm going to need it. We're doing slabs because I'm really worried about mob spawns. So this is going to help us prevent that without having to have lighting everywhere. It's always one of the challenges with Minecraft is that, you know, you got to keep those mobs away. Can't get killed by mobs, especially when, you know, you have like a whole bunch of machines going on and, you know, we may or may not be trying to focus on <laughs> or reading the wiki, trying to figure out what exactly <laughs> we're supposed to be doing with this thing or why this, you know, particular thing isn't working or, you know, what is this other stuff that we need, so... It's it's kind of worrisome because we, we have almost gotten blown up. Or I, I've almost gotten blown up at least a couple times. 
Oh, that was cool. I really like that. I always forget about that that re auto replacement uh, thing. Whenever I run out, it just kind of you know boop pops in another stack if I have it in uh, in my hand. Um, I actually haven't ooh ah um actually I haven't used it like terribly all that much. So it's actually now that I'm building, <laughs> I'm starting to see that, oh, this is actually really useful and really nice. So, you know, those those are the kind of things, like, we've always said that, you know, we didn't really want to do modded because it changed too much of the game. But I feel like this, this sort of, like, pack is sort of, like, bare bones in some ways. Like, some of the stuff is complicated, but I don't feel like enough of it is to really sort of, like break the game it still feels like minecraft but it augments it like with the ships and stuff the ships and stuff you know i i wanted to do for like the longest time and i'm really really happy now that i that i can oh it's stone so it's one of those things where it's like quality of life i guess you could say changes um rather than you know OP, you know, make you a god by building this armor that takes, like, you know, five iron. Oh, man. And, you know, you can never be killed again. Nah, that's not really interesting. I'm still... I'm still to the point where I actually would like to be killed. <laughs> if a mob can get me, I, I really feel like, like they should. So... All right, so I'm just gonna build out a little edge extension over here. And one of the things that I really need to build, and I probably should have build, built before I started the episode, is a chisel. Oh, bear, you read my mind. Wow. <laughs> and, he totally didn't have this pre-made, I can guarantee you that. But um, we have been talking about, like, a chisel. Because one of the things that I I always have a problem with is uh, is same face blocks. And I was literally, the reason why I brought it up was because I was thinking, I was like, oh man, all these blocks look the same. Um, but this is so cool. So I can actually put these in here. And it doesn't do half slabs, apparently. But, like, look at this. This is so cool. Um, let's see, I can do, let's see, what do I, what kind of, like, if I imagine to myself what a dock looks like, I feel like these blocks here look the dockiest. Yeah. All right, let me go ahead and break this real quick. All right, I need to make myself, do I have enough stone? I do. Let's go ahead and... Um, make one of these, make one of these, make one of those, but boom. And let's make an axe. There we go. All right. Uh, yes. So this bear is a genius. Um, you're definitely going to want to start using like carpentry blocks and stuff like that. Um, but you know, just, just take a look at this. Yes. That looks so much better. Um, I may want to change the way that it looks. Let's see. Let's see what else there is. Let's put these back in here. Um, let's look at the vertical ones. All right. You know what? I almost feel like these aren't these aren't vertical. Oh, they are. Um, oops. Hit my head. There we go. Sleep. Uh oh. Doesn't work with the jetpack. Oh, I can't sleep on slabs. Um, can I sleep on this? <laughs> I can't sleep on that. Oh, no. Break this. There we go. I wasn't reading the reading the chat. It's yelling at me. It's like, what are you doing? All right, there we go. Boop, boop, boop. Okay. So let's go down here. Take a look at this. So... I'm not really sure which one I like better, but I can tell you that just the fact that I have options is so nice. Um, 
I'm not digging that one. Let's see, what else do we have here? What other options do we have? What about this one? Let's see how this one looks. Let's see which one would look. Oh yeah, this one. That's the one I want. Because I'm looking for something that like is large, thick, and substantial. You know, like big slabs of wood or, you know, pieces of wood that you would see on like the edge of a dock and I feel like these are very very much that wood so um, this is the one this is the texture that we're gonna use and this is what I really really love um, because even though it is still technically jungle wood it's it looks so much better um, just from a simple texture change. Now, I know it's not the high-res textures that I'm used to using, but, you know, this is what it looked like. This is what it looks like now. And to be honest, I think it looks... I think it looks a lot better. Um, but, you know, we're just gonna have to live with the low-res. Just, that's life. Alright, so... That, I think, is good for now. Um, we'll change all this later on. Boop, boop, boop. All right, let me go ahead and clear this. Oh, got an apple. I'm gonna clear this little island over here. And that way, we can get rid of most of these trees and we can start moving over all of our chest stuff. Um, and then we can start strategizing about, you know, where are we going to live? Are we going to build something here? Are we going to build something over there? Um, so let me just take you, let me bring out my hang glider, eat some meat. Let me just take you on a little trip and tell you about my vision for this place. So this is basically going to be the center, uh, you're going to have uh, a some sort of structure that is in the center here. I'm not sure if it's going to be on near the water. Oh, hot bar. <laughs> I'm not sure if it's going to be on near the water or if it's going to be suspended in midair. Um, but what we want to do is have each one of these trees be some sort of, like place like you know one of them's gonna be a smelt tree one of them's gonna be like storage you know or, or something along those lines maybe not necessarily that but something along those lines and that way we can connect them with walkways so this one would have a walkway that would lead to that tree and then that tree would have a walkway that would lead to that one and so on and so forth um so this is the tree that i originally uh fell in love with uh it's sort of down you have the ground, and this is the one we originally drew up, we, we dug into and came up with. Um, actually may end up changing to have the main trees be these ones over here. And the reason for that is they are a lot closer. So um, it would take us less time to get to this one, to get to this one, to get to that one over there, as opposed to walking across the center the center way each time from from that tree if that tree were the main tree um so we're still sort of like i'm still sort of like rolling around ideas in my head about how uh we're gonna do this love that thing um but it's still it's still up in the air there's still so much that we can do it's a fresh clean slate and i'm excited to start working on it um so I think that that's going to be it for today. Um, we've got our dock built. In fact, you know what? I want to go ahead and just move this thing into dock. So let's assemble it. Perfect. Mount it. F5. There we go. Alrighty. So let's go ahead and move into dock. Yeah. Alright, so the dock's going to have to be made uh, a little larger um, but other than that, I think it looks 
I think it looks pretty good. It's a great start. Definitely a great start. I think I'm going to go around and I'm going to change all of the... Uh, oops, get it going here. All of the uh, wood into the... Um, the same things that, that those ones are. The sort of like planky ones. I think I like those. <laughs> Bear can fit in there. <laughs> Bear can dock. Um, but yeah. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. Um, I hope it's I hope you guys are excited for this as we are. Um, and I hope you guys are having a good time. So we're going to start moving our stuff. And, you know, you guys can always leave us feedback in the comments. Obviously, like the video, favorite, you know, check us out on Twitter, all that stuff. And <laughs> the air conditioner just came on. Perfect timing. We'll see you next time. Take care.